Last time I talked to you about this topic with James Harden, that was November 25th, and you didn't think it could work. Change your opinion? Not at all. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, – I thought they bought him in because they wasn't sure what was going to happen with Kyrie. They bought him in as an insurance policy. Uh, and now I think it's going to be fascinating watching those three guys play together if they all play together. I mean, I, we have no idea what's going on with Kyrie. Uh, but, no, I don't think it's going to work at all because those other guys don't bring in the diversity to, to the table. Uh, those other two guys, they are offensive players. They don't play defense. They don't rebound. So it's only one basketball. I, I think it's got zero chance of working. But you also, and you know this, where it feels like KD could get 30 on 16 shots. You know, he, he would find a way, get to the line, and he can be economical. The other guys are volume shooters. Certainly Harden is. And then I just wonder, what kind of offense do you run when you have three alphas like that? Well, I think that's why I don't think it's going to work. I think it's really going to be like they're just going to take turns, and I don't think that's going to work. Because, like I say, other than KD, the other two guys, they're not going to like when KD went to Golden State, he's like, okay, I'll play defense and I'll rebound the ball. I don't see Kyrie and James doing that. I think when KD got the ball, they're just going to be standing around. Uh, and so uh, I don't think, like I say, listen, uh, I don't think it's going to work at all. It's going to be fun watching. Uh, because how, one, seeing how James and Kyrie handled the New York media, to me, is going to be like the most fascinating part of this whole thing. But if, the, if we know this, the Nets have to know this, then how is this going to work? So what are they thinking that why is this going to work in their minds and we have, you know, a big question mark attached to it? Well, because I think it's what KD wanted to do. I mean, KD wanted Kyrie, and now I think he realized it now, like, yeah, this is not going to work. I better bring James in here as an insurance policy. That That's what I think happened. But clearly, KD is running the organization. Uh, so I think this was about what he wanted. What do you think Steve Nash is thinking today? I'm going to get the blame if this thing <laughs> don't work. They're going to kill me, like, <laughs> you know, and I really think they put Steve in a really awkward position because Steve Nash is a hell of a, obviously was a great player and he's a great guy. But you, you got you got one guy comes out and says, hey, we don't need a coach. Yeah. And now you bring in James, who clearly shows up when he wants to. Uh, so I think it really puts Steve between a rock and a hard place. Uh, because, listen, if they have to get rid of somebody – it's going to be Steve Nash, <laughs> but it's not going to be James, um, James or KD. But you think, I think, but Ky I think Kyrie is the wild card in this whole thing, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. Do you think that they're ready to move on from Kyrie? Because I don't know what everybody's kind of casual about where Kyrie is and what he's doing. I don't know if he wants to play. And it doesn't sound like he's really that interested in coming back anytime soon. Well, I think this is the reason they made the trade. I think the, the Nets have lost faith in Kyrie. They're like, and, and I actually, I think Kevin has lost, like, no, nah, I better bring James in here. Because, listen, even without Kyrie, James and KD together is pretty formidable. I mean, they're going to be just as good uh, with or without Kyrie. Mm. So I think KD's like, yo, man, I can't trust this dude. He shows up when he wants to. He's going to do his own thing. I've got to bring James in. as an Hey, and listen, let's be something, something straight. This is probably the greatest insurance policy we ever seen in the NBA. <laughs> you think LeBron and AD are concerned about what the Nets just did? No. I mean, they're still the best uh, duo. Listen, there's nobody right now, if you get any fool or jackass on your show today, we're all guessing about the Nets. Ain't nobody going to get on here and tell you they are the NBA favorites right now. If they do that, they don't know anything about basketball. I mean, we got, I got to be honest with you, Dan, I said this when you said this a few months ago. 
I would love to be a fly on the wall because <laughs> I, I pray that they got James Harden because I want to see this social experiment and it's going to be fun. It's going to be fascinating. And it's in New York City. <laughs> 